Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to download, initialize, and set up the Bookmap platform. Now, Bookmap does require a license key for activation. This can be accessed on your account portal on the Bookmap site once you have registered and purchased a copy of Bookmap. Now to log into the bookmap portal, this can be done on bookmap.com and by navigating to the top right of the page and logging in with your account credentials. Now, once you are logged into the bookmap portal, you will need to, if you have not already, download bookmap and there are several versions to download. I would suggest downloading the current product version, which at the time of this video is 6.1. However, there is a current beta version, which is 7.0. This can be used to access specific currencies that aren't in the current download version of Bookmap. So for those of you watching in the future, these versions may be outdated by now. But for today's video, these are the current versions. So like I said, if you haven't already, I would first suggest downloading the current production version of Bookmap, which can be done using the following link. Now, once you have downloaded Bookmap, you'll need to open up the folder and you'll be presented with the Bookmap installer. Now, as you can see, and as I have already mentioned, that it does require a license key. So once you are brought to the screen, you'll need to click to enter license key. And then you can go back to your portal here and then copy your license key down and then we'll paste it in our bookmap activation screen. And then once you click activate, the platform will approve your product key and it will allow you to use bookmap. So once we press OK, now we'll need to initialize our data feed. And this is where things can potentially get a bit tricky depending on your setup. So if you are planning on using a live data free credentials to trade futures on, for now, you'll need to select external data view orders only. You can also select record live data and if you'd like record live orders. The other two options, replay data and trading simula simulated by bookmap as well as external data trading simulated by bookmap is essentially paper trading now this is fine if this is what you intend to trade with on bookmap but like i said for those of you that do plan on executing trades or using a live data source without simulated data from bookmap please select the external data view orders only option once you've done so, press OK. This will now essentially configure your platform. And right now I am getting a connections limit reached. If you do receive this message, I would suggest to remove the oldest connection. I don't think you will run into this problem as I have used Bookmap in the past. So this is why I could potentially be running into an issue here. But as you can see here, because we did select that option, the platform will essentially initialize to the setting we have chosen, and we can now add our live data feed credentials directly into the connect connectivity configuration screen. All right, so now that we have entered in our CQG live credentials, we can press OK button, and this will begin the process to configure our CQG data. So as you can see, our confirmation was configured and now we do have an active one. So now if we would like to activate this connection, we'll simply need to go to the connection tab and then left click on our CQG1. Once we do so for the first time, we will get a market data compliance in which we will need to understand and accept the terms of agreement. Once you accept, the platform will attempt to connect to CQG. As you can see, and this shouldn't be the case for you, if you do run into this message, this could be potentially because you are using a CQG data feed, the same CQG data feed on another computer. So I would suggest to left click drop 
Otherwise, if you do need the data running on the other computer, select keep. But for now, we'll be selecting drop. And as you can see, we are now connected to our CQG live data feed. So now that you're connected, we'll actually need to subscribe or essentially connect to a symbol. Bookmap uses the terminology subscribe. Now to subscribe to a symbol, we'll need to either pr press the control T shortcut on our keyboard or left click the plus symbol in the top left hand corner. Now, as you can see, we can select which data feed we'd like to connect with. And if you are running multiple data feeds at once through your connection tab, the drop down menu will display as well those multiple connections. To choose our symbol, we can either manually type in here or we can left click the drop down menu and choose from essentially the most popular contracts on our data feed. The EP does stand for the E mini SP 500 contract, so we'll be subscribing to that. And once you do subscribe to a symbol, the platform will configure and it will open up an interactive chart as well as a dome for the symbol you just subscribed to. Again, you can do this for multiple contracts at once. You'll just need to designate the chart and the contract that you'd like to open with. And once the symbol does eventually connect, simply left click the tab to switch back and forth between the two. So that just about does it for this video. The main purpose of this video was to get you started and set up to begin live trading on Bookmap. There are a ton of features and a ton of analytical tools that can be used on Bookmap to make it a platform of your own. That will be touched on in further videos, but for now, this video should provide you with an adequate layout of how to get started using Bookmap Live. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.